how'd you kind of feel after decompressing and everything after last night's Yeah, it's definitely tough. I think the biggest thing is we didn't play our best, but we had the momentum going into the third quarter, and then obviously it got really away from us there in the fourth. Sorry, going into the fourth quarter. Um, just go back and watch the film and play the same exact team again. So there's a lot of things we can learn from. I think uh, the more disappointing thing is I felt like we did it to ourselves. Like. I don't know, I think it's like energy and effort stuff that could have been a lot better. So um, just watch it and, and learn from it and grow. Like I said, like this is a quick turnaround in this league. So if you still find it too much, you're just going to keep compounding. After the first game, you said you felt like you guys didn't even get into stuff you worked in in training camp completely straight away. Were you able to do some of that at least in game two or not so much? I think it was a little better. I still think there was a lot of moments where we weren't quite running exactly what we should have been or we didn't know plays or we didn't get into the offense as smoothly, so I think that's definitely something you need to work on. And you now I think it's just trying to put everything together. This group is still young, the coach is still coming back. Um, so it'll, it'll come around for sure. In college, in college, you didn't really lose big um, over your four years, so you know, what, what has been your process like over this past week for just flushing out these two games and moving on? Yeah, I think I've always done pretty well at like being able to move on to the next, whether it's been, you know, sometimes it's maybe almost harder to move on from the, the close ones that you know you start to win, but I think this is like, you know, this is a professional sport, like nothing's going to be easy, so just go back and watch the film and give yourself a little grace, but also find ways where you can be a lot better and uh, take care of your body. I think those are the biggest things and, uh, yeah, I mean, nobody wants to lose big, but at the same time, like, at Connecticut and here last night, like we had opportunities where we had cut it to single digits and we just couldn't really capitalize. So um, I think the moments are there. It's just figuring out a way to find the consistency. What kind of extra value do you feel like there is in playing them again tomorrow, being able to see the film so quickly and go back at yeah, it? Yeah, it, it makes it obviously the scout a little bit easier, but you know I think they're definitely going to be fired up. Like it was probably pretty easy for them out there last night. So. Um, they're probably feeling pretty good, and as they should, so there's definitely a lot of areas that we need to clean up, but like, you know, we get to travel, we don't have to go through an entire scout, there's just you know, some little things, and we'll go over some more stuff tomorrow, and tonight, and hopefully be able to clean it up, but it definitely is a benefit. What comes the motive after a turnover and a shot? How do you kind of move on from place quickly and not have that emotion kind of gets you as a game of Yeah, I think that's just having the next play mentality, and I think that goes for every single person on our team. I think sometimes we can get so caught up on the offensive end that it can affect our defense at times, and I think it almost needs to be the other way around. We need to let our great, we need to have great defense so it can you know, motivate us on the offensive end. So I think just everybody, you know, all around having the next play mentality. Don't get deflated by certain plays. Like you know, the best players in the world are in this league. Like people are going to make great plays. They're going to get stops. They're going to make tough shots. It's just going to be how you respond to the next play. And I think we can all get a little tougher in that regard. And that that thing you last night for you with so many people there for that first time, giving you a lot of family there, all that kind of stuff, compounding on it. Nah, I mean, I think I'm used to playing in front of those crowds. I'm used to playing in front of a lot of people. I don't think that's anything. Like, that's just something I embrace and expect at this point. Like, it's going to be what it is all year long. And, you know, I hope our fans just continue to come back and support us. It's, it's going to get better. It's going to be a learning process. Not everything can be perfect right now. And, um, you know, continue to have that energy. And I think, you know, it's going to help us go a long way. You've talked a lot about learning physicality. Just what have you learned from Sun and Liberty to the most difficult teams in the game? Yeah, you have to remember these two teams are like two of the best in the league. Like they're up there um, with the best of them. So I think you know you're getting to play against the best, some of the best players in the world. You know they're going to be physical. Like I'm getting face guarded. I'm getting picked up 94 feet. Like it's my second game. Like so I think it's just a learning process. Like they're not going to let it be easy for me. They know exactly what I can do. They're going to be all over me. They're not going to let me catch the ball. Um, so I think just finding ways to attack that, take advantage of that. I think. Maybe getting a quick sub here or there so I can go harder while I'm in the game. Maybe an, maybe an option, but um, I don't know. I think being physical back, don't let them just push me all the time. Like, you can be physical back and they're going to be physical with you. So um, I think all those things, but at this point, like it's just something to expect. Like I'm going to get trapped, I'm going to get blitzed, I'm going to get you know, double team, face guarded. That's just what it is. At, and you know, we're going to have to find ways to exploit that on offense back for sure. How much, how much more do you think screening, cuts, all those sort of things can help open up this offense? For sure. I think Huge. I think we need to like set and use better screens that goes for me and that goes for the screener. I think all those things combined, I think cutting and getting open. Um, but I also think just like running the stuff we have, like the 
to see if it we can see if it works or if it does that. I think we can just get a little bit better of a floor. Well, we will, and that will just come with you know time of playing with one another a little bit more. I think we can run the floor better, and our transition will get better if we can string together some more stops. Um, you know, we had we had a good string there at the end of the third quarter, got some momentum back for us going in the fourth. Um, so there's definitely glimpses too. Have there just been a lot of broken plays offensively where people maybe not in the right spot or or guys the players panicking and such and then therefore you don't get into that offensive stuff you're talking about? Yeah, I think there's just, you know, some mental lapses for sure and you know you're putting a lot in and going at a fast pace, but also the people are being really physical and kind of pushing us off of our spots. Um, that's exactly what they want to do. They want to make you play further out, you know, I think we're getting pushed out too much. So I think just being physical back, don't let them push you off of where you want to be. Um, it's just you know a way of kind of combat that. Were you yeah. able to go to dinner or anything with Lisa and company yeah. afterwards? I assume. No, I saw them for a little bit, but I didn't go to dinner with them. They're they're hopping on a private jet back home, so. Uh, after last night's game, Katie Lou was saying that the unit needs to do a better job of, of, of getting you some space because you're getting picked up so early. Do you agree with that 100%? Do you think there's something that maybe you could kind of give and take? Yeah, I, from think, that? I think it goes for all of us, me included. Like you know, I'm getting hounded, I'm getting picked up. And that's just how it's going to be. That's how it is for other good players in this league. I think I can definitely set and use screens better. I think I can use change of speed better. Um, but I think just like once we get to play with each other more and know what each other needs, have a little bit better chemistry um, and flow to us, it's going to go a long way. Gotcha. You're good? Cool. Thank you. Thanks.